century. Uh, as you understand from the introduction given by uh, Dr. Govind Pal about his academic work, uh, you can see that predominantly he has addressed the issues of exclusion, inclusion, and the issue related to that. I need not repeat. Uh, Today he is going to speak on reservation and the annihilation of caste on the 21st century. A very important issue. A reservation uh, is, is very much in, under discussion, uh, particularly with the introduction of uh, reservation for economically weaker section. But there are other uh, groups uh, uh, whose reservation also came for discussion, the literature and the list Muslim, wherein the government took the position that they don't deserve the uh, reservation as much as the Hindu scheduled caste or Hindu Dalit. I would not like to go into that. I would only make a point that uh, uh, it's good that Sati Deshpande has picked up the issue of reservation uh, uh, for the discussion in the context of annihilation of caste. I think Dr. Ambedkar can be uh, can be definitely considered as an architect of reservation policy. Uh, there was a reservation for the Muslim introduced uh, in the in the legislature introduced in 1910. But uh, and some reservation for the European Indians and Christians in the legislature through nomination. Uh, but uh, a systematic concept of reservation, and particularly for the scheduled caste, who were not considered a minority, and the, the, the former untouchable who were not considered minority. So in the context of the caste and untouchability-based deprivation and discrimination, he brought the concept of reservation. He had to struggle quite a lot to, to justify that scheduled caste deserved the status of minority more than perhaps the religious minorities and he changed the definition of uh, minorities as, as a matter of fact and was successful to get political reservation in 1931. Ambedkar uh, was in my view was uh, predominantly engaged in uh, how to reduce the how to eliminate the inequality associated with the caste system. All his writing on caste uh, he attributed the sources of intergroup inequality, the caste inequality, uh, to the caste system and institution of untouchability. And so his whole, if you look at his entire solution and analysis that relate to annihilation of caste. And, uh, uh, and right from 1991, where he uh, first submitted his memorandum to the South Bureau Commission, Till the till the making of the constitution or his last memorandum, state and minority, he was grappled with the inequality, the sources of inequality, and the remedies. These are the three issues uh, he has added continuously, and 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 try to get as much as he could in the constitution. Uh, if I very briefly summarize, that uh, he 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 put forth four to five point. Uh, to reduce the gap and in caste inequality in Indian society. The first thing was, of course, he argued that everybody should have equal civil right, which the untouchable did not have, or even OBC did not have. Therefore, he argued for equal civil rights, citizenship right. And then he said that uh, there is a discrimination in the sense that some of the group are denied civil rights, even at that time whatever rights were given by the Britishers. He argued for a legal protection, a law against discrimination, so that those who suffered from discrimination can go to the court of law and get some justice. Uh, these were the first two. The third one was that uh, even if we have a law against discrimination, the society continue to practice discrimination in multiple spheres, society, social, economic, political sphere, and therefore, uh, the discriminated group do not get the adequate share and representation and therefore he proposed reservation as an instrument to give due representation 
uh, to the discriminated group and among them of course uh, at that time was the former untouchable and we have a uh, reservation as uh, Satish Deshpande uh, in his earlier lecture yesterday gave a lecture on the Lit Christian, the Lit Muslim and how concept of reservation which was uh, coined by Dr. Ambedkar extended one group after another. Now we have gone beyond caste, ethnicity, religion to a certain extent, informal reservation policy is there, affirmative action policy is there for religious group, and then economically weaker section. So reservation has been a major instrument which has been introduced by Dr. Ambedkar and of course proposed by him. But the fourth important point that was mentioned by him and which he insisted was the, the share in the executive. That is, those who prepare policies and those who implement policies. So, share in the ministries and share in bureaucracy and share in policy making. This was, he insisted, and therefore the Ministry of Social Welfare and Empowerment, the CST Commission, was the outcome of his fourth suggestion. Although it is not legally binding, but uh, that was uh, the outcome of his suggestion. And the last, of course, which is very important, was that that this will, these all policies are there, equal civil right, legal safeguard, reservation, all the police and executive, share in executive are there to, to give it due representation and share to the uh, ex-untouchables and later on other group. But he also argued that the discrimination for continuously for several centuries resulted into the resourcelessness among the untouchables. They are landless, they are illiterate, they are without entrepreneurship, they are without decent employment, heavy dependence on casual and uh, slave labor. Therefore, uh, how do we do their economic and educational empowerment? That was one of these issues. And uh, he, he finally came with a solution in the state and minority that this cannot be handled within the framework of the private economy. Therefore, he suggested what is called uh, state socialism, uh, where he suggested nationalization of land, UK industries, insurance, education. So, uh, for the first time, Dr. Ambedkar came with a remedy and show his ideological position in favor of democratic socialism, if not communism. And uh, the DC draw, uh, I may say to uh, the German Foundation people that there is a opinion that this has, he has drawn influenced by the Fabian Socialist. That's not true. He was in London uh, and he met Sidney Bay, who was one of the founders of Fabian Socialism. But I think his major uh, uh, learning came from the German Socialist, uh, the, the contemporary of Karl Marx, who believed that socialism could be brought through democratic means and, and violence could be avoided. And the same concept was the push up further that state, as Marx says, is pro bourgeoisie, but state can also be at time neutral. So the concept of state socialism was developed. So Dr. Ambedkar picked up the concept of state socialism from German tradition and and introduced, but he went one step ahead and say that we should have a constitutional state socialism. He urged the Constitutional Assembly to include the economic structure. Uh, in the constitution where nationalization of land and enterprises and education. Now this is the package that Dr. Ambedkar came with for the reduction of caste inequality. But reservation is one of the key uh, policy that he has suggested. Uh, and I think uh, we are going to listen to Satish Deshpande to what extent the reservation can uh, remove the annihilation of caste. It's definitely that on one side it can definitely uh, 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 perform that role that by, by, by bringing an economic and educational mobility among the scheduled caste and scheduled tribe, we reduce the gap. A reduction of gap itself bring economic mobility and integration in the 